Hey guys, Bugsy Rants here, and you know, for the last few days I've been kind of wondering, you know, whether I needed to do these or whether it was a good idea to do these, and I wasn't really sure, even though I've gotten really good feedback, so thanks to you guys who have given me some feedback on it. But you suck! You're awesome! But, uh, you know, something happened today that made me realize I absolutely have to keep doing this. You know, there's just some things out there that people are not getting. And you know, it's not, you don't have to be smart, you just need to think a little bit. Just a little bit. So, you know, if I can get some people thinking, I'm doing what I set out to do. I'm getting my message across. So, yes, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm missing something. So I was in econ class today. This problem gets put up on the board. You got 420 M&Ms. You can't have more than 420 M&Ms on a plate. Now everybody in the class can choose between 0 and 20 M&Ms to remove from the plate. And we're told that, you know, however many M&Ms are left on the plate, as long as there's more than 8, they will double and reproduce up to a maximum of 420 writes down a piece of paper how many M&Ms they want, total it up, 453. More M&Ms than we had. You know, this is an experiment. She asked, why did this happen? And people are like, well, the people are greedy. Ignorance. We, did, we didn't know how many we could take, or how many, you know, we should take. I put my hand up, and I'm like, excuse me. Maybe you guys have figured this out already. How do you not know how many you can take? And she's like, well, ignorance. Well, we don't know. No, this is bullshit. Think about this. This ignorance is willful. We're sitting in the class. We know how many M&Ms there are. We can look around and count how many people there are. So what's... You can't claim ignorance. You cannot claim ignorance when you have all the facts. To me, this seems extremely obvious. My answer was five. Because that's how many is sustainable per person. I looked around the fucking class and I counted. Apparently, I was the only one. 42 people in my class. One person got this. So, you know, we're having this argument, and I'm killing this chick, going, yo, you are wrong. And the teacher jumps in and goes, uh, well, that's not really true, uh, and changes the subject. The teacher was wrong! This is my economics teacher. This is somebody who would be an advisor for the government. I'm not kidding. I'd like to be, but I'm not. This is the problem. And this should have prompted some kind of discussion, made people think, oh, maybe I need to do this, which you do. No. I'm the one who the teacher thinks is wrong. I fucking near walked out of class. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was right. And the teacher and the entire class were wrong, and they're still going to be wrong today because the teacher, the person who should have done something right, didn't. Instead of making a point about this, she agreed with the ignorance principle. You cannot claim ignorance when you have all the facts, and you didn't look at them. How common is this? Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, uh, you know, get the word out there. Let me know what you think. Comment below. One last thing before I go, I just wanted you guys to know I am working on a skit, which uh, is a little bit of a parody of Full Metal Jacket. For those of you guys who have seen it, I'm going to be parodying a scene there. It ties right in with what I'm doing here. I think it's going to be hilarious, so just a heads up, I've just got to learn how to use a camera a little better, and I'm going to give that a shot.